Hi, good afternoon. My name is Dr. Gobble, Naval Hospital Camp Pendleton Health Promotion and Wellness Branch. And today I will be talking about asthma. So many people say, what is asthma? Uh, it, asthma is, it happens when breathing airways become much smaller or narrower. In short, uh, asthma is caused by inflammation and swelling and increased mucus production that, again, makes the airways much smaller uh, and, and narrower. So in terms of asthma symptoms, those include wheezing, chest tightness, shortness of breath, and excessive fatigue. In terms of diagnosing asthma, uh, healthcare professionals will normally take a complete history. They will generally perform a physical exam by having a patient perform breathing tests to again confirm or rule out the diagnosis of asthma. Asthma triggers and allergens include animal dander from feathered or furry pets, cockroach droppings, dust mites, molds, pollen, and other irritants to include tobacco smoke, air pollution, chemicals, strong smells, weather changes such as cold air, and also exercise. And that leads into exercise-induced asthma. So exercise-induced asthma, known as EIA, is a narrowing of the airways that occurs typically five to 20 minutes after physical activity. And exercise-induced asthma is present in a vast majority of peoples with asthma. What happens with exercise-induced asthma? Again, the, aer the, the airways narrow, reducing airflow. It is much more difficult to move air in and out of the lungs, and that's, this results in coughing, wheezing, and difficulty breathing. With the duration of exercise-induced asthma symptoms, they typically, the symptoms begin during exercise. They usually worsen five to 29 minutes after stopping the activity and also possible late phase reaction four to 12 hours after exercising. This is also possible. The good news is that the recommended activities for people with asthma include activities with short bursts of activity. This includes Activities such as downhill skiing, football, golf, swimming, tennis, volleyball, and certain track and field events. When it comes to managing asthma, it is a total team effort. Team effort on part of the patient and the healthcare staff and family members. Communication, medicines, and monitoring asthma conditions that all results in success for patients. In terms of long-term control medications, these are known as controllers. They prevent lung inflammation, which will not help during an asthma attack. And controllers must be taken for several days before positive effects begin to occur. Quick relief medic medications for asthma, known as rescue meds, they help to relax the muscles around the airways, and these do provide immediate relief. Rescue meds are used to treat asthma attacks, and they're used to prevent and treat exercise-induced asthma. With quick, re quick relief inhaler use, Use 10 to 15 minutes before warm-up for exercise. Take one puff 
hold breath 10 seconds, then exhale, and then wait one to two minutes. Repeat as noted on the patient's asthma action plan. Finally, helpful asthma tips include warm up and cool down periods. These do help prevent asthma attacks. Hydrate before, during, and after exercise. Check the pollen and air quality. So again, this covered our information on asthma. Thank you very much. We wish you the best success in managing your asthma. And again, my name is Dr. Gobble here with the Naval Hospital Camp Pendleton Health Promotion and Wellness Department. Thank you.